We are not giving up on finding a cure for letamosis. I want all of those who are suffering from this sickness or of loved ones who are battling it right now to know that this is not a sign of defeat. We will never give up until letamosis has been eradicated from our society. However, it recently came to my attention that the use of the cyborg threat to further our research was an antiquated practice that was neither necessary nor justifiable. We are a society that values human life, all human life. I could not stand by while our citizens were being forced to sacrifice their lives under a mistaken belief that their lives are less valuable than those of their peers. Do you think he did it for you? I don't know, Echo. He's fantastic. Mm. We don't have time for this right now, but I have an idea on how we're going to get to Luna. What if we hit on a ship that was already going to Luna? We could be smuggled in. Except all the ships that go to Luna are lunar ships. How will you get aboard one of them? Right now they're all lunar ships. But I might know how we can change that. If we can delay the wedding and persuade Queen Levana to host the ceremony on Luna instead of on Earth, then all the Earth and guests will have to go there. But I have to get Kai to trust me first. If he can persuade Levana to change the location... We still need to get into the palace, but no more big distractions or hijacking the media. We need to be more subtle. Sneaky. Oh, oh! You should pose as a guest! Then you would have an excuse to buy a fancy dress, too! <laughs> I'll find a way to get us invitations. Did you know they're sending actual paper invitations? Very classy! Sounds wasteful. Maybe so. But also easy to steal. How many do we need? Two, hopefully. What? what? What's going on? Ling, Adri, and Ling of Pearl are invited. What happened? Why is the ship screaming? Nothing. Everything is fine. No, everything is not fine. How can they be invited? I've never seen a bigger injustice in all my programmed life. We just learned that my former guardian received an invitation for the wedding. She was awarded it as an act of gratitude for her assistance in the ongoing manhunt for her adopted and estranged daughter, Ling Cinder. Mm, because she sold me out. Figures. See? Injustice. Here we are, risking our lives to rescue Kai and this whole planet, and Adrian and Pearl get to go to the royal wedding. I'm disgusted. I hope they spill soy sauce on their fancy dresses. Your ship has some messed up priorities. You know that. Iko. My name is Iko. If you don't stop calling me ship, I am going to make sure you never have hot water during your showers again. Do you understand me? Yeah, hold that thought while I go disable the speaker system. What? You can't mute me! Cinder! Nobody is disabling anything. You're both giving me a headache and I'm trying to think. You know, you were pretty memorable at the ball. What with being publicly humiliated, almost shot in the head, and ultimately arrested. So it strikes me as odd that you seem to be doing everything you can to figure out a way to go back there. You can't think of a single reason why I would want to be at that wedding? One more fling with your toy before he becomes Levana's property? You were swooning over him an awful lot at the- Cinder punched him. He's not a toy, and he's not her property. Insult either of us again, and next time, I'll hit you with my metal fist. You tell him, Cinder. Why do you care? This wedding isn't your problem. Of course it's my problem. In case you haven't noticed, your queen is a tyrant. Maybe the Commonwealth doesn't want me anymore, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let Levana come down here and dig her claws into my country and ruin it like she ruined yours. So that's it? Some overzealous sense of patriotism for a country that's trying to hunt you down as we speak? You must have some fried wires. In case you didn't realize it, the second you step foot on Commonwealth soil, you're dead. Thanks for that stellar vote of confidence. And you don't really seem like the type of girl to sacrifice herself over some hyped up delusions of true love. So what aren't you telling me? Oh, come on. Please don't tell me you're obsessing over this wedding because you actually think you're in love with him. I am not just doing this for Kai. I am doing this because I'm the only one who can. I am going to overthrow Levana. I'm going to make sure she can't hurt anyone else. You think that you are capable of overthrowing Levana? That's kind of the whole idea. Isn't that the entire reason you're helping us? Stars no. I'm not crazy. I saw an opportunity to get away from that thaumaturge without being killed and... And what? And what? And it's what Winter would have wanted me to do. Even though now she's probably going to die for it. You mean... 
The Queen's stepdaughter? Yeah, the only princess we've got. Who did you think I was talking about? Um, nobody. I should have let Sybil have you. I thought maybe the princess would be proud if she heard about me turning against Sybil, but she would approve of my decision. But who am I kidding? She'll never even know. Do you... Do you love her? Don't try to push your swoony psychodrama on me. I'm sworn to protect her. Can't very well do that from down here, can I? Protect her from what? Lavana? Among other things. <sighs> Help me. I swear to you, I can stop Lavana. I can get you back to your princess where you can do whatever you need to do. But I need help. You. What? You should have killed me when you had the chance. You turned me into this. And I will kill you before I become another experiment. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Stop. Cress's eyes widened. Sybil's guard. Sybil had found her. Sybil was here. Take one step, and I'll snap her neck! Tell me! Where's Scarlet? What have you done with her? Aren't you that hacker? Both of you have five seconds to tell me where she is. Or you're both dead. I'm... I'm not with them! He doesn't care what happens to me! Just relax. Let me get Cinder or the doctor. They can explain. Cinder? She's out on the ship. Where did you come from, satellite girl? What is going on here? Let her go. We are not your enemies. The girl is not your enemy. Please, allow me to explain. I've been here before. Cinder. Africa. Press! Captain! Press! Captain, I'm in here! Thorn stumbled in. Bracing himself on the doorframe. Cress, are you alright? Captain, to your left is a lunar guard and on your right is a doctor who is running tests on lunars and I'm being held by one of Lavana's wolf hybrids and please be careful. <laughs> uh, could you describe all those threats again? Because I feel like I missed something. Thorn? Who said that? Who are you? Have you heard her? Because I swear, if you heard her- Give me that. Hey! Who took my gun? Uh, that is enough. No one is hurt. And no one is going to get hurt. That's what you think, wolf man. Doctor. Wait. Cress, which one is this? I am Dr. Dimitri Erland, and I am a friend of Cinder's. You might know me as the man who helped her escape from prison. Nice story. Except I'm pretty sure- I'm the one who helped Cinder escape from prison? Hardly. The man who took your gun is also an ally of Cinder's, as is the Lupine soldier who will no doubt pull out some stitches if he doesn't lie back down. Thorn? What's going on? Where are we? What happened to your eyes? Wait. Wolf? Yes? <sighs> Aces, Cress, you nearly gave me a heart attack with that wolf hybrid comet. Why didn't you just tell me it was him? I, um... Where's Cinder? I don't know. And where... I thought Cinder said something about Scarlet before. Just a nightmare? Cinder is here. She's safe. Cress, are you alright? Are you hurt? No, I'm... I'm alright. You came for me. Don't sound so surprised. It turns out that you're worth a lot of money on the black market. Thorn? Cinder? What? What? Where are you? Where have you been? Why are you wearing that stupid bandana? <laughs> I missed you too. You jerk, we thought you were dead. Oh, please. It'd take a lot more than a satellite plummeting to Earth to kill me. Although, admittedly, Cress might have saved us that time. You remember Cress. Hello. Thorn, listen, you were spotted in a nearby city. They're already pulling together search parties. We need to get out of here now. Cinder? I had a dream where you said... You told me that Scarlet... Wolf. It wasn't a dream. She was taken. She's 
did. I failed her. Wolf, she's not dead. You don't know that. Neither do you. She's not dead. They'll... They'll want to keep her for... For bait. They wouldn't just kill her. There's still time. You think I want that? For them to keep her alive? You don't know what they'll do to her. But I do. We believe she was taken to Luna. And I have an idea for how we can get to Luna without being seen and how we can find her and save her. And, and now that we're all together again, I believe it can work. You just have to trust me. And right now, we can't stay here. We have to leave. Outside, the Commonwealth military had them surrounded. Crash shriveled up against Thorn. Military. A lot of them. I am sorry, Master. I would have warned you, but that would be illegal, and my programming prevents me from breaking human laws. Yeah, that'll be the first thing we fix. She's a droid? But I, I saw you flirting. Escort droid. Got her for a friend of mine. You all are under arrest for harboring and assisting unwanted fugitives. We have you surrounded. There is nowhere to run. Get down now. Oh, stars, I'm too old for this. Cinder, save yourself. Can you control any of them? On your knees now. Oh, only a few. Maybe together? I had to glamour Wolf to get him out here. She tried not to think about what that made her. On top of him, I can only control one Earth and maybe two. Jason, can you control any of them? Yeah, right. Weak mind, remember? The only way through is to fight. In that case, has anyone seen my gun? I order you to stop talking. I see any lips move, and that person gets a bullet to the head. I have six tranquilizers. Let's hope that's enough. It won't be. This is your last warning. No. This is your first warning. Wolf lowered into fighting position. Seven Earthens changed position under their control, aiming at each other. Stand down and let us pass, and no one will get hurt. You can't win this. Actually, we can. The townspeople emerging from their homes. This is a matter of international security. You all are ordered to return to your homes. Anyone who defies this order will be held in contempt of justice by laws of the Earth and Union. So hold us in contempt after you let them pass. These people are wanted criminals. These people are our friends. Then you leave me no choice. You have no idea what it is to not be given a choice. The lunar refugees concentrated. All around them, soldiers began to shift, targeting his own neighbor until every soldier had a gun pointed at his head. And that's what it's like to have your own body used against you. To know that your brain has become a traitor. We came to Earth to get away from that, but we're all lost if Levana gets away. Now, I don't know if this young lady can stop her, but it seems she's the only one worth putting any faith into right now. So that's what we're going to do. The general surrendered, and the crew ran. <laughs>